The new PBS docu-series Walking with Dinosaurs airs on June 16th. So to celebrate, we're bringing you five dinosaur misconceptions that you probably didn't know. Number one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Spinosaurus coexisted. T-Rex and Spinosaurus actually did not coexist. It's important to note that dinosaurs lived on this earth for 165 million years. That's an extremely long amount of time. As a matter of fact, the Spinosaurus existed 30 million years before the Tyrannosaurus Rex. So the movies like Jurassic Park 3, where dinosaurs like T-Rex and Spinosaurus were battling against each other in these epic fights, were actually completely made up and would have never happened in real life. Don't believe everything you see on movies. Number two, Velociraptors were tall and scaly. Velociraptors weren't as big and scaly as Jurassic Park would make you think. As a matter of fact, they were only about the size of a large turkey. While they were six feet long, they were only about two to three feet tall, and they also had feathers. So when you think about it, they really weren't that scary at all, were they? Number three, crocodiles are dinosaurs. This statement is actually completely false. While crocodiles were technically considered dinosaurs millions and millions of years ago, they eventually evolved and diverged onto their own path called crocodilians. The closest living relatives we know to dinosaurs today are actually large birds like cassowaries and emus. It's no wonder the emus won the emu wars of Australia. I mean, look at a baby T-Rex and a baby emu. Number four, archeologists dig up dinosaur bones. This statement is actually false and the job of digging up dinosaur bones actually lies in the hands of paleontologists. Archaeologists and paleontologists both study the past. However, it's important to note that archaeologists study the past of human history and paleontologists study the past of life on Earth. That's why paleontologists are tasked with digging up the dinosaur bones and finding fossils. So the people that dig up dinosaur bones are less like Indiana Jones and more like Ross Geller from Friends. Number five, fossil fuels are dinosaur bones. Do you remember when you were a kid and you first learned about fossil fuels? I remember thinking, Oh my god, how could they be burning the dinosaurs? While fossil fuels do come from fossils, it's important to note that they mainly come from plants, bacteria, and algaes that were put under immense pressure and heat over time, eventually turning them into things like coal, oils, and natural gases. So while dinosaurs may have lived during the same time as the organisms that would eventually turn into fossil fuels, Dinosaurs themselves aren't technically used in fossil fuels. So you can rest easy the next time you're pumping gas into your car, knowing that you're not pumping an old Tyrannosaurus Rex into your Hyundai Sonata. Want to learn more about the wondrous prehistoric world of dinosaurs? Tune into Valley PBS Monday, June 16th at 8 p.m. for the new docu-series, Walking with Dinosaurs.